Hi everyone, welcome back to Kiwi's Collectibles. Today I am shopping in my local Goodwill store. If you are new to my channel, my name is Pam and I love to thrift for home decor items and I also pick up things to sell in my booth. So let's get started and see what Goodwill has for us today. As I walked into the hard goods section, I noticed these rabbits right away. So adorable. And this piece felt bisque, so it had that rough texture. It was $3.99, and there were little bits chipped off here and there. And then right next to it, these beautiful swans, this planter was $3.99 again bisque and it actually had cracks so I left those swans behind then I saw this beautiful platter absolutely gorgeous $1.99 the paint was beautiful no paint loss no chips or cracks. It was stunning. These glasses actually caught my attention. They were very colorful. I don't know anything about them, but even the gold at the top was intact. They were really great looking glasses for $1.99 each. This piece was a very delicate feeling. It was 99 cents. It had many chips all over it. And next to it was this ashtray of a poodle. It had a lot of paint loss on the front. And then of course this little squirrel. And I didn't like the squirrel's eyes. They were just googly eyes and this gorgeous owl, $1.99. Wouldn't that be beautiful in a fall vignette? And of course, this little pear teapot was adorable, but it was missing the lid. Otherwise, it was in great condition. This little piece, I believe, was fashioned to be someone's pincushion. It looks as if they put the little bottom pieces on there, and I'm sure it served its purpose. This pair of farmhouse styled canisters are meant to be for the top of your cabinet for your sugar or your tea or your flour but I felt like they looked more like a trash can maybe Oscar the Grouch's trash can what do you think I love 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 these little recipe boxes but this one has seen better days it was such a cutie though And this teapot, gorgeous. Look at the color. It was in great shape. I didn't see any chips or cracks. And $4.99, not too bad. I looked on the bottom and found out this came from Cracker Barrel. You know, Cracker Barrel has so many cute things in their store.
This Virgin Mary with Child planter was stunning. It was a larger sized planter and it was only $2.99. It was in wonderful condition. I found another Pyrex lid and this one was just clear. It was priced up at $3.99, but it was in pretty good condition. It had some scratches, but there were no nicks or chips or cracks anywhere. I think these red hammered stainless steel mugs come from Sam's Club. They have a little rust underneath the lip, but that's nothing that a little barkeeper's friend couldn't handle. Here we have two McCoy Brown Drip Glaze coffee cups. They were in fair condition. I wouldn't go as far as saying they were in a good condition. They felt a little chippy on the rim, but they were $1.99 each and great for any collectors out there. When I saw this set on the shelf, I immediately thought that it matched the teapot that I saw earlier, but then I realized after turning it over that this bowl, cup and saucer, was from Homer Laughlin. These chargers are from Williams Sonoma, and there are only two. They were very similar with subtle differences, $7.99 each, and I thought they could be used as decor or in some other way besides your basic charger. Check out this gorgeous little panda planter. I think it is a doll. $3.99. There are some rough edges around this planter, but overall, it's just a sweet little thing. I couldn't leave the store without purchasing at least one of the Williams Sonoma chargers. The other charger that I had picked up had a small crack in it, so I chose this charger, brought it home, I styled it just a little bit for you so you can see what it will look like. It's great for fall. I am so excited to get this. Yes, it was $7.99, which was a little pricey, but like I've said before, I will pay up for something if I know I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna use it, and I'm going to love it. I couldn't leave the store without purchasing this beautiful platter. It's made by I Gottinger and & Company, and everything about this platter is just stunning. No chips or cracks, the paint is absolutely perfect and I think it's just a beautiful and romantic looking piece. I'm going to be selling this in my booth somewhere between $18 and $22. I did pick up the Pyrex lid even though I know it is way too expensive. I feel certain that I can definitely make my money back and turn a little profit out of this. So I am gonna place it in my booth and I'll probably sell it for around $10. Isn't she lovely? This Virgin Mary and Child Planter was only $2.99. She was a great size for that price. And here I just added some fall flowers for you so you can see just how beautiful she will be with any type of flower or plant. And I think I'm going to hang on to her for a little while and then maybe place her in my booth to sell. I'm not sure how much I would sell her for. We'll have to wait and see. All right, thank you so much everyone for shopping with me today. If you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. 
I really appreciate you and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, friends, bye-bye.